Bruce Megan, a major Fox News, News alert. Explosive new details about the FBI investigations into the Clinton Foundation and Hillary Clinton's private email server that could now dramatically alter the outcome of the election, which is only six days away. As Brett Baer reported earlier tonight, sources are now telling Fox News that the FBI is actively and aggressively pursuing a case involving allegations of pay to play at the Clinton Family Foundation. Now, the sources say the probe into the foundation is now, quote, very high in terms of its priority, and there is, quote, an avalanche of new information coming in every day. Agents also indicate that multiple people are being interviewed, and some are even being re-interviewed about this case. Now, the sources also revealed to Brett Baer stunning new information about Hillary Clinton's private email server, saying authorities now believe there is a 99% chance that up to five five foreign intelligence agencies may have accessed this server and taken these emails. Here now with the very latest details on all of this, Fox News Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge. I don't know where to start. Five intelligence agencies. Would we elect a president that potentially could be blackmailed? Well, Sean, what we know tonight is that there is new evidence that the FBI's investigation of the Clinton Foundation is not dead. FBI agents are quietly working the Clinton Foundation case out of four offices across the country, including Southern California, Arkansas, Washington, D.C., and New York City. And multiple sources say the Justice Department has been tapping the brakes on this investigation by blocking access to a grand jury. As part of its ongoing investigation, Fox News was first to report in January that the FBI email probe had expanded to look at whether the intersection of Clinton Foundation work and State Department business under Secretary Clinton may have violated public corruption laws. While the State Department emails and WikiLeaks now show evidence of coordination, in January, Hillary Clinton tried to dismiss the reporting of Fox News as rumor. What we also know tonight is that computers belonging to Clinton's personal attorney, attorney Cheryl Mills, there on the left, and aide Heather Samuelson were not destroyed as part of an immunity deal with the Justice Department in the email case. Both lawyers are central to the investigation because they decided which Clinton emails were government work, deleting the rest, and those computers are now in evidence and still available to Clinton Foundation investigators. And while the review of Anthony Weiner's computer is not complete, Fox News is told tonight that there does appear to be a lot of new stuff and a strong belief among agents that classified material is in play. Sean. All right, Catherine Herridge, thank you. Also tonight, more proof that your government is way corrupt and doing everything they can do to keep Hillary Clinton from going to jail. WikiLeaks is out with even more evidence that shows collusion between the Clinton machine and your Justice Department. Now we're learning that the Assistant Attorney General, Peter Kadzik, who's responsible for informing Congress about the newly reopened investigation into Hillary's Clinton private server, is a longtime friend of who? Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta, and he has decades-long ties to the Clintons themselves. And as a new WikiLeaks email from 2015 reveals, Kadzik, this is the FBI guy, from a non-government account, gave Podesta a, quote, heads up about questions uh, a Justice Department official could have faced about Hillary Clinton at a congressional hearing. First she gets, you know, questions to a debate. Now she gets these questions. Everything's handed over to the Clintons. Unbelievable collusion. He also appears to have tipped off Podesta about when the State Department would be releasing Clinton's emails. He wrote this, quote, there is a House Judiciary Committee oversight hearing today where the head of our civil division will testify, likely to get questions on State Department emails. Now another filing in the Freedom of Information Act case went in last night or will go in this morning that indicates it will be a while, 2016, before the State Department posts the emails. This is beyond shocking and should concern every single American. Now, Justice Department is now severely downplaying what Katzik did. They're telling Fox News, quote, that he wasn't communicating via official channels because it wasn't official business. He wasn't emailing as Assistant Attorney General Peter Katzik. Really? How stupid do they think we are? And yesterday we also learned that Podesta once bragged that Kadzig, yeah, that same guy, kept him out of jail in a 1990s case involving Monica Lewinsky. 
This is beyond government corruption. This is collusion at its finest. And it's exactly why back in June, Bill Clinton thought he needed to meet with Attorney General Loretta Lynch on her plane for over 30 minutes. And before FBI Director James Comey actually made a recommendation about Clinton's private server. Lynch said they only discussed their grandkids and Bill's golf game. Really? 30, 40 minutes? How stupid do they think we are? Here with reaction, former 2016 Republican presidential candidate, Dr. Ben Carson, the editor-in-chief of Life Zet, Fox News contributor, nationally syndicated radio host, Laura Ingram. Laura, before I, I, I go to this, I want to put up Brett Baer's reporting because this is there's so much here. Yep. I honestly believe between that and the Wall Street Journal report tonight that the odds of Hillary Clinton being indicted are massive. What we now know is this is a long, ongoing investigation into the things that we have been talking about, and that's the pay-to-play practices at the Clinton Foundation. If you go back, maybe less than a year ago, James Comey wouldn't confirm or deny that that was happening. We now have learned the Clinton, oh, go back to the previous one. We, if you guys can go back to the previous page. We now learn the Clinton Foundation probe has now taken a very high priority. In other words, mm -hmm. that would go into the Uranium One deal, that would go into the Morocco deal, that would go into the list that was made up of Clinton Foundation donors and friends of Bill that would have first shot at Haiti relief money. We know that agents have interviewed and re-interviewed multiple people in this case about the foundation. And we also have, as part of it, that the sources say there's an avalanche of new information coming in every day. And the FBI is reviewing statements from Clinton and top aides. And sources say the investigations will continue no matter what the outcome of the election happens to be. Agents investigating would likely continue to push and try to get an indictment. Yep. Brett Baer reported that tonight. The FBI has not destroyed the laptops of two Clinton aides, Cheryl Mills and another woman, and aides laptops are now being looked into or exploited in, by the FBI. Now here's another interesting part. Sources are now saying that 99% chance exists that foreign intelligence agencies did access Clinton's private email server, which was the very danger we've been talking about from the beginning. You couple this with WikiLeaks and their revelations, you know, they now show a finding of intent, meaning conspiracy to commit a crime. And officials have high confidence in what the agents have found about the foundation, meaning they think they've got the, the, the information for a prosecution. Let's go to the Wall Street Journal. We just had it up there for a second because they're reporting tonight that secret recordings of a suspect talking about the Clinton Foundation fueled an internal battle between the FBI agents who wanted to pursue the case and corruption. And then that goes back to what we were talking about earlier about this guy, Peter Kadzik, that's friends with, with John Podesta. And prosecutors who viewed the statements as worthless hearsay, people familiar with the matter, said the agents using informants and recordings from unrelated corruption. Now, you know, I, I can go on, Laura, but I, I don't want to take up the whole hour. Yeah, I mean, Sean, I'll tell you this. I was a, a, a white-collar criminal defense litigator in my old days as a lawyer. And I'll tell you this. When, when you have an investigator, a federal investigator, going back to re-interview witnesses, they're only doing so because of new information and new evidence that they've gathered. And that is indeed what's happened here. So whether we're talking about Cheryl Mills or some of the other top officials at the State Department, they gave various interviews to federal investigators, uh, had conditional immunity. It's a limited immunity. Uh, and now if through WikiLeaks and other documents that uh, apparently are coming into, the, uh, coming into the FBI and other information that's coming into the FBI, again, we don't know who's cooperating with them now, Sean. I think we have to, we have to remember that. There, there are people who are freaking out right now, who are connected to this, thinking, oh my God, I never signed up to do time for the Clintons. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save myself. When you get into that mode of people saying, I'm going to save myself, that's when it gets really dodgy for the principal players. Let me ask We're you as a lawyer. We're talking Huma Abedin and Hillary Clinton and other top officials at state. So that's when the, je the legal jeopardy for Hillary is growing by the day if this is the type of, of uh, intensity that this investigation is gathering. Okay. Now, there's, as Brett reported, an avalanche of evidence on the Clinton Foundation investigation and barring, quote, you know, obstruction in some way, agents investigating would likely continue to push for an indictment. 
Let's move over to another issue that we got revealed today. That is the FBI agents, they're making their case about the Clinton Foundation probe, but it's the Justice Department that's throwing up walls and obstacles. And then you've got this guy Kadzik, the best friend of John Podesta. And we've got information that the Justice Department, as well as the State Department, were tipping off the Clinton campaign. Kind of like CNN giving her the questions ahead of time. They cheated everything, apparently. How important is that, that now the FBI, or at least agents, are clearly leaking this information because they feel an injustice has been done? Yeah, they don't, they don't trust the higher-ups at the Justice Department, which is why they're going to this extreme, Sean, at the FBI. They've been stonewalled, it looks like, from the reporting tonight on Fox News. They've been stonewalled along the way by DOJ, by, by Loretta Lynch, who... You, you would imagine is probably consulting with someone uh, in the White House. And this, is, this thing is being stonewalled. They've decided, look, we've got to save our reputations. This is about the rule of law applying across the board evenly to everyone, no matter who you are, no matter what your last name is. And we're going to do this the right way. And I, I'm telling you, when you start throwing around possibilities of five to ten years in federal prison, for federal conspiracy, perhaps, uh, as, as Newt said earlier, uh, uh, RICO violations, uh, you know, false statements, perjury under oath, destruction of federal documents, people are going to start believing it's time to save themselves and to cut ties with the Clinton uh, people. And I, I think Barack Obama is going to be in a tough place here because if this is what's happening at DOJ, I mean, is this really how he wants to end his presidency? And, and, and oh, at I can tell point, you how it's going to end. He's a special he, prosecutor, but Sean, a special he's prosecutor. A, well, I, I guess, but that's that, in the end, that doesn't look good for him either. A special no, prosecutor agreed. at some point has to be called in. If if, if there's right, this get, much turmoil, you need a special prosecutor. And you, I think Laura's touched on a very important point, Dr. Carson, along with the fact that now 99% chance that five intelligence agencies, foreign intelligence agencies hacked into that server. Okay, that means she compromised American security at a high level. And we believe one of the reasons she was trying to avoid congressional oversight, Freedom of Information Act requests, so that's why she set up the server in the, in the first place. Also, deleting 33,000 uh, emails, it wasn't about yoga, a funeral, and a wedding. It probably was about the quid pro quo pay-to-play scam that they had going at the State Department. But my question is, Laura's right. Uma Abedin signed a form, a separation agreement, and she said and promised that she, at, barring jail here, that she had turned over all classified materials. Every single instance that there's a classified piece of material on that computer, she's facing jail time. Now, are those people going to stand up and lie for Hillary and go to jail for her? Well, you know, there's such an avalanche of, of corruption coming out every day. People are almost becoming numb to it. But, you know, there is a good thing here. The, the good thing is that these FBI agents who swear to protect this country um, and to uphold the law cannot sit down and put their heads down and shut up. This is what the, the corrupt people want to happen. They're not swamp creatures. Um, and, and that means that there is hope for us. I've encountered so many people who are just discouraged and they say the whole thing is just a mess and we're lost. But we're not lost as long as we have people like that. And I, and I do believe that there will be people who are out to save their own skins. This is all going to come out because Hillary knew that if she erased those emails and asset watched them, that that would come into question and that she would be criticized for that. But she also knew that what was on those emails was even worse than any criticism she would get. We're only touching the surface. It'll take us the full hour tonight to break down all this new information. My, my exit question for both of you. In an hour and, and 46 minutes, we're five days away from the election, Laura. What is the impact going to be? 27 million people, 28 million people voted already. What are we going to do? Well, I, th I think people go into the polls on Tuesday, people still voting. They, they, have to, they have to be thinking, do we really want to do this for another four or eight years? Is this really the best that we can do? Oh, it won't do? last four if, years. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying, is this, is this really w what it is to vote for a, the first female president of the United States? I mean, if, if people want to vote for the first female president, that's all they care about, they should vote for Jill Stein. At least she wasn't in public office and trading yeah. her position for favors. So 
it, it, the, the stench of corruption is overwhelming. And what do you I think, think Dr. Even Carson? I don't, have to think I don't think that. they... I don't think they want the first female president to be convicted and carted off to jail either. But the American people are wise. And Thomas Jefferson said that we would come to this point where we were about to change into something else and the people would realize what they were about to lose and a movement would start and they would correct the situation. This is the correction. It is going to happen. I predict yeah. it right now. Well, I hope the people in New Hampshire, Colorado, New Mexico, Minnesota, exactly. Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin are watching, and Florida. We're better than this. We're better than this. Because they control this election. Guys, good to see Absolutely. you. Thank you. Good to see you. Coming up, more reaction to the, all this breaking news about the FBI's investigations into the Clinton's private server and now the Clinton Foundation. Monica Crowley, Judge Jeanine Pirro, weigh in next. And then later tonight, with almost five days left to Election Day, well, an hour and 45 minutes away from being five days, mm -hmm. uh, we will speak with Donald Trump Jr., with Donald Trump's son, Eric Trump, all of that, and New King which will be here and more on this busy, busy news night. And this is a Fox News alert. New damning reports on the Clinton campaign tonight. Brett Baer's sources telling him the FBI is aggressively investigating the Clinton Foundation and that the probe will continue no matter who wins next Tuesday. Here with reaction, Fox News contributor Monica Crowley, the host of Justice, Judge Jeanine Pirro. Judge, we'll start with you. They're talking about an avalanche of evidence. It's into the Clinton Foundation, pay-to-play allegations that we have all discussed at length on this program between the secretary and the foundation. This now has been going on, this investigation, for more than a year. Uh, we also learned the foundation investigation is now a very high priority. We've also learned that they keep interviewing a lot of people on the foundation case, and the sources say the ag agents say they have collected a great deal of evidence and pressed on that. One source said a lot of it. And there is an avalanche of new information coming in every day from WikiLeaks, emails. They're interviewing all these people. A lot of people are saying things. Wow. It's time for a grand jury. It's time for Loretta Lynch to allow Comey and the FBI to get this evidence before a grand jury. And, Sean, this explains why all of a sudden this case was reopened. Yeah, I get the Uma Abedin, the, uh, the, the, the wiener part of it, but this thing has been going on for the whole year. And the FBI, there is a mutiny in the FBI. That's why all this stuff is coming out. There are four offices that continue to investigate, although justice has tried to shut this down, saying there's not enough evidence. This recording from this other person who apparently is an informant is hearsay. This woman should have been indicted a year ago. A simpleton could figure out that she would make a deal with a particular country. The money goes into the foundation. Bill makes a speech, and then they get the benefit. This is classic RICO corruption. Let me Go stay, to jail. Let me stay on your argument, because you're right. The FBI agents were pressing and pressing and there was a rebellion building within the FBI. I know this from my special right. agent friends. They were right. telling me right. uh, that they were embarrassed at what James Comey did back in July and they were tired of answering questions from everybody that knew that they were in the FBI. But I think the interesting part of this, why is the Justice Department where we now know you have, they, they colluded with the Clinton campaign. John Podesta, the guy that's the spokesman for the new investigation, is John Podesta's BFF mm -hmm. and, and said he got him out of jail. What, what is I Loretta think, Lynch hiding here, and why is she resisting what is clearly a lot of over, an avalanche of evidence? I think what you're seeing now developing is the FBI's revenge. Because what you mean we the now agents all, revenge. The, 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 the agents. rank and file who have worked so hard on this case, this is their revenge, and the timing is not a coincidence here. In the United States, Sean, if you do not have an independent, impartial, and fair Department of Justice and FBI, which are only interested in enforcing the rule of law and finding the truth, then you have nothing. Nothing else matters. All of this conversation that we've been having about the classified emails and the classified material, very important, but that ultimately is the shiny object distracting everybody. The mother load is the Clinton the Foundation, Foundation investigation, That's which we just had money. confirmed. Follow, follow the today. money. Look at the Uranium right. One deal. This guy gave $31 million, and, and then he got other people to give millions of dollars. But the point, and then they Sean, needed Hillary to the, sign off the point, on allowing right. the, the, the merger that allowed are, Putin to those, have access to 20% of our uranium. Those are individual examples of the corruption, 
But the bigger point that the American people need to know before Tuesday is that she leveraged her public office to enrich herself, her husband, and their foundation. All right, but, it's a, but she did so at what cost? Because Brett Baer's sources say this. And beyond the money, which is as horrible as it is, because she sold out her office. That's what they're claiming, and that's what I think the evidence is, will eventually show. But we now know that as there's a 99% chance that five foreign intel let me translate, enemies of America, yeah. that five of them have accessed and taken the emails, which number one would make her a compromised president, potentially subject to blackmail, Clearly, subject to extortion, well, and put blackmail. Maybe me methods and personnel in jeopardy. And not only that, she has sold America's national security for money. These people are grifters. They've been grifters since they came on the scene. And she knew that when she set up that server that it wasn't secure. She did it for money. She did it to enrich themselves. She didn't care about our security. And Uma Abedin, I don't know who she and Wiener are connecting with, but these are people who do do not have our interest at heart. And if the American people have any common sense, they will understand that this family has been corrupt since they came on the scene. This is the Lucchese, Bonanno, uh, Bonanno. This is a crime family. This is the Gambino it is. It's, Clinton it's actually, crime family It's actually here. worse because they weren't seeking the presidency of the United States. When you talk about at least five foreign actors, we can assume they're hostile. We can assume Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, maybe somebody right. else with the capability Absolutely. to do this. And based on this knowledge, maybe I this Mrs. Clinton, Maybe. or the Islamic State, Mrs. Clinton should have her top secret security clearance revoked tonight. Listen, there is a guy that is in jail that took six pictures on a submarine as he was serving his country. Oh, sad. oh yeah, wife and child, he's in jail for a year for taking six pictures. Five uh, foreign nations hacked into her email, compromised, putting at risk names, methods, uh, Personnel for what? So that they can enrich themselves and hide the fact that they were enriching themselves by making deals, selling out America's national security uranium? They will only destroy this country. We are on a road to destruction already. Well, they will finish it. Is this going to impact the election? I hope so. And if it doesn't, shame on us. I think it absolutely will because people have been exposed to the Clinton corruption. So the people of Florida years. are going to take this into account. The people of North you know Carolina, what? New Hampshire, so. Wisconsin, Michigan, Sean, uh, Minnesota, uh, New Mexico, Colorado, the, they're all going to the, Pennsylvania. The American people have put up with 30 years of Clinton corruption. I think this is the straw that breaks the camel's back where they finally say, I hey, cannot do this. We can't again. take it anymore. We can't take this anymore. No, they've no, got to no. be the nation, finished with she, it. This will be a constitutional crisis. You knew Richard Nixon personally and well. Yep. This will be beyond anything oh, that ever oh, happened in Watergate. These are, so it will paralyze this country this until she's removed from first, office. First of if all, she ever nobody gets died in. in Watergate and nobody made a red cent I gotta in Watergate. Go. All right, thank you both. Coming up with just six days to go until you, the American people, head to the polls. Donald Trump's son, Eric Trump, Ju Eric Trump, not Jr., uh, joins us next. Also, Larry Elder, Sheriff David Clark, will join us later. And also, Newt Gingrich stops by. Straight ahead. of Fox News alert major breaking developments that could alter this election only six days away. Sources tonight telling Fox News and our own Brett Baer that the FBI is aggressively pursuing allegations of pay to play at the Clinton Foundation. Now the agents are saying this is quote an avalanche of new evidence. Joining us now with reaction from the Trump Organization. Donald Trump's son Eric Trump. Uh, you've got to be concerned about one thing and that is we are now 90 minutes away from only being five days away from this important election. I know the polls have all tightened even before this story broke. How do you feel about the developments tonight? Well, listen, Sean, I'm concerned about this country. Honestly, it's not even the election. I'm concerned about this country. I mean, the fact that we have a presidential candidate who could be under indictment while in the White House is unthinkable. I mean, we have so many problems. You and I talk about this all the time. We have so many problems as a nation, the last thing that we need is this distraction. We need to get this country back to work. We need to take care of the military. We need to take care of our vets. You know, we need to take care of our educational system. Obamacare is failing. And to think that, you know, and so many other problems, quite frankly, but to think that a presidential candidate could be under indictment, under investigation, 
and have to deal with this problem for years on end. I mean, this thing has well, tentacles even, all over the world. It's even worse this than is, that. This is serious stuff. You know, the, the, we know the Loretta Lynch and, and the Department of Justice, they sure. didn't want the FBI to do this. This was rank-and-file FBI guys finally taking oh, a no stand. Question. And here's the other part. And we've got John Podesta, you know, literally the, the ethics of Podesta yeah. and this guy Kadzik who works there yeah. and the tip off the collusion between the Clinton Absolutely. campaign and the DNC, the Clinton campaign and the Justice Department, yeah. the Clinton campaign and the State Department, all captured by WikiLeaks and the Obama yeah. White House because, oh, we got to clean up his mess when he lied about not knowing about Hillary's private server that he emailed her on. You can't make yeah, listen, this up. There's no this question about it. You can't write a novel like this. Hey, Sean, I'm not a fan of people stealing emails, right? I'm just not a fan of people stealing emails. But the one thing I'll say, the one good thing that came out of WikiLeaks is it shows how corrupt these people truly are and how corrupt our government truly is. And it's incredibly sad. I'm a civilian. You're a civilian. My father's always been a civilian. He's never been government. You see these games going on. You see Donna Brazil giving Hillary Clinton the debate questions. You see these people behind the scenes making fun of Christians and evangelicals. I mean, you see what's happening there. You see the president emailing back and forth on a, you know, on a private server to Hillary and the cover-ups and the fact that, hey, we have to purge all these emails and we have to do it right now, despite the fact that Congress told them not to delete any emails. I mean, you really see the corruption of the Clinton Listen, campaign front and center. Two things, so though, I would argue, number one, it showed we have no cybersecurity as a nation, none. They did us a favor if we'd fix it, because now we can fix it because we know sure. it's, it's so compromised. Two, you're right, it shows sure. the level of corruption. Here's the other thing. If there's, if we're not, Brett Baer's report, 99% yeah. chance five foreign intelligence agencies uh, accessed her, her server and probably wiped it clean? Wow. But Sean, that's why you don't have a private email server. I mean, everybody has a Gmail spam account, right? We all use Gmail for spam or AOL for spam. That, that's why you don't have a private AOL or Gmail server, right? I mean, that's why you use government servers. And quite frankly, cybersecurity for everybody in the real world is something that plagues every single major company. You see them hit Home Depot. You see them hit Target. The first time the president ever talks about cybersecurity right, is when the this. DNC is hacked. Let me and ask I find this. that deplorable. All right. So your father has been making a very strong comeback. Um, I mean, the, uh, the ABC yeah. Washington Post poll is one example. The IDB poll is another. Yeah. He had the LA Times poll plus six today, which LA was Times. a high number. Sure. But he's got to win the states. He's got to get the electoral votes. For your dad to win, he's got to hold every state that Romney won. And he's got to get Iowa. Yeah. And he's got to get Ohio. And he's got to get Florida. And he's got to hold North Carolina and Nevada sure. and Arizona. Now, think about this. And then sure. he's also got to get sure. eight, congressional district number two in Maine and New Hampshire. By the way, there's a poll I hear tomorrow that might show your dad up by one in New Hampshire, just a rumor. And number two, it's actually not. Uh, and number two, he's got to either get that, Pennsylvania, Minnesota, Michigan, Wisconsin. I mean, it's a tough yeah. road to hoe for any Republican. Yeah. Well, well, Sean, I'm all over the place. I was in Ohio all day today. I did 12 stops in Ohio, and I can tell you the love is incredible. I'm actually in Minneapolis right now, but I'm going to be in Wisconsin all day tomorrow. And right. I mean, just everywhere we go, I mean, the, the, the turnout is incredible, and we're going to do it. There's no question. People are sick of this nonsense. People are sick of the corruption. People want our country back. They want this country to be vibrant again. We're doing everything wrong. Our, our career politicians are flushing our country down this the drain. This will paralyze. And it's got to stop. And if she got elected. And, and we're going to win this, Sean. We're absolutely going to win. If, if, if your dad doesn't win, this country will be paralyzed, zero progress, yeah. will continue our precipitous decline. It will be an unmitigated disaster on, in light of tonight's news. Eric, thank you. We will see you soon. Thank you, Sean. Coming up, much more on tonight's breaking news. Sources revealing new details about the FBI investigations, plural, into Hillary Clinton's email server and the Family Foundation. Former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, he weighs in. Later, Larry Elder, Sheriff David Clark are here as we roll along. This is a Fox News alert just days before you, the American people, go out to vote. Breaking news that could now dramatically shift this election. Sources telling Fox News that the FBI has given very high priority to an investigation into allegations of pay to play at the Clinton Foundation. These sources are also saying this is shocking. There is a 99% chance that up to five 
foreign intelligence agencies may have hacked into Clinton's private email server. Why didn't we learn this sooner? Here with Reaction, the author of the bestseller, Treason, former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor, Newt Gingrich. This is not funny because people's names, methods, top secret. Um, we're talking about the you know, special access program classification, the highest level, and five foreign governments, likely enemies, hacked into it? We didn't, we're just finding out about it six days before an election? Well, the whole thing is a mess and is a sign of how much the Obama Justice Department has tried to protect Hillary Clinton from the American people. Um, you have two parallel scandals here. You have a very real national security scandal. And as you just pointed out, uh, anybody who thinks it's a small thing to have five different foreign governments uh, now knowing a whole range of American secrets, uh, this is really very dangerous to individuals who may get killed. Uh, it's very dangerous to our programs, which may get blocked or undermined. Uh, so the national security side is very real. And then second, uh, we're finally beginning to see come into, into focus the depth of corruption uh, that is in the Clinton Foundation, and, and by the way, which I believe is a big part of why they had uh, had these, the secret server. I think from day one, Hillary and Bill Clinton knew they were going to exploit the Secretary of State's office to get millions and millions of dollars, and they were trying to hide it. So in a very real sense, it's the corruption of the foundation which is driving the email server which right. sets up the national security violation. There appears to be a war between the Department of Justice that did not want this to go public and the FBI rank and file. Clearly, they've had enough and they felt this information was pertinent enough to get into the hands of the American people. By the way, I think they will go down in history as the heroes when this book is written and this chapter is finished. But the other big discovery, an avalanche of evidence. I'm, I'm using exact quotes here. A lot of it as it relates to the Clinton Foundation and barring anything that might get in the way of this, that these agents are going to push to get an indictment is what they told Brett Baer. They're going to push for that. Look, look, the Justice Department bureaucrats and political appointees have donated to Hillary Clinton 36 times more than to Donald Trump. Now, if you have all those donors sitting in the middle of this process, you know they're going to be protecting Hillary. I think there should be a very serious question whether every person who donated to Hillary shouldn't be required to step down in the Justice Department because we now have such a clear scandal involving corruption, illegality, national security, that to have somebody who is already pro-Hillary supposedly rendering justice uh, is an absurdity. Yeah, but, you know, now we have to add another question. How do we trust the Justice Department that has John Podesta's best friend there leaking him information, as WikiLeaks revealed? And we now know th through the correspondence tipping them off, we had already learned through WikiLeaks that there was collusion, not only with the liberal media that's probably not doing this tonight, but collusion with the Justice Department. They were tipping off the campaign of Hillary Clinton. The State Department was tipping off Hillary Clinton and collusion with the Obama White House because when he was caught in the lie of saying, oh, I learned about this private email server from the, pr from the press, well, that was a lie because he was emailing her on that server and it didn't say state.gov. But what you have is the government establishment trying to get their candidate, their handpicked candidate, to the presidency to enable them to keep control. I mean, th this is very clear that this is a collusion on a grand scale between the official government and the campaign. Well, how do we get it away from Loretta Lynch? Dana. How do we get it away from, you know, this, this pal of, uh, of John Podesta? How do we get these people the hell out of the way? Well, I, I think it's very clear, and if you go back and look at the, uh, the Watergate precedents, uh, I think it's very clear that Lynch has to recuse herself. Uh, and by the way, Andy McCarthy's made the point, a former prosecutor of the 1993 World Trade Center bombings, he's made the point that the Manhattan office in charge of the corruption scandal for the uh, Clinton Foundation was overwhelmingly populated by people Loretta Lynch hired when she was the U.S. attorney in that office. I, so you get, yeah. Bill Clinton made her an important person, 
Bill, you know, she's very close to the Clintons, so close she'd meet in secret with Bill Clinton just before the FBI interviewed his wife. This whole thing stinks, and I think if they were going to try to establish a sense of decency, she would recuse herself and bring in an outsider yeah, okay. of impeccable the, credentials. The same lady that hung out with Bill in the plane on the tarmac for 40 minutes uh, just before they were uh, rendering a decision. All right, um, I don't. I think we are going to. There will. This story will be written that the heroes are FBI special agents that knew that the law was broken and they stood up for the law and stood up against a, against the powerful Justice Department protecting her. Last question, and I only have 10 seconds. How does this impact the election? Well, it drowns Hillary. What's that? That was, I, it drowns Hillary. You wanted a 10 second answer? It drowns she can't Hillary. Win. She is drowning, she is drowning as this stuff keeps coming if in every God single day. If God forbid she got elected, this country's paralyzed. What happens? Well, if she, has, if she gets elected, she gets indicted. Exactly what happened to Richard Nixon, who lasted 18 months after carrying 49 states. She ain't going to carry 49 states. I think she's not going to be elected. But the specter has to be there for every voter. If she wins, we are in for a very long embattled presidency uh, and, with and this criminal country will, indictments. This, this country will be paralyzed. This, is very, this would not be good for this country. It will be a constitutional crisis. Thank you, sir. Up next, more reaction to the shocking breaking news developments tonight. Larry Elder, Sheriff David Clark are here. They'll react to that and more. Joining us with Reaction, radio talk show host, nationally syndicated, Larry Elder, Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark in studio. The rank and file FBI guys clearly said they had enough. You know, I'm proud right. of those guys. And Me I too. said from the very beginning, in the first round of this, before uh, they decided not to charge her, I said that the FBI at the higher levels had been corrupted and co-opted. Call as Me well Too? As the, including Comey, and I, but I made it clear, you, you heard me, I said, not mm -hmm. the agents. I always had faith in the agents to separate themselves from the politics of this, and that, I find that refreshing. But the thing that bothers me the most is that, uh, you know, the FBI has been compromised at the highest levels there. And it's scary, guys, right? It, it's very scary. The look guys, at the Justice Department. They're yeah, feeding they're, the campaign to Hillary Clinton. They're still in the hands of people who have more authority than them. Uh, they got to get this out of the Justice Department. I think a special prosecutor, but you know, let uh, legal people figure that out. But this whole thing, this is a mess. But I'll tell you what, I think the gig is up. I think that uh, uh, the FBI is in hot pursuit now. And you can't uh, stop this train. No, 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 no. You cannot stop this because train. Because they're gonna, I, if if they try, I get. I think the agents, they're just gonna keep doing what they're doing. Sean, put me down. Thank for God. this. This thing is going to lead back to the White House. I think when right. the president came out I agree today, with you. and when the president came out today and kibitzed and said something about Comey and the FBI and the election, uh, I think he's running scared as well. I agree with you, Larry. Well, Sean, uh, Hillary said uh -oh, that Larry's uh, got a cold. You all right? I, I'm okay. Hillary <laughs> okay. said that there were 17 agencies that concluded it was the Russians who did this. So the Russians hacked uh, the DNC email, uh, John Podesta's email, Colin Powell's email, the CIA director John Brennan's email, but somehow there was this no-fly zone over her email. I don't know why anybody's surprised that finally somebody is saying, very likely, her server was hacked. 99%. And contrary to what Bernie's... 99%. Contrary to what Bernie... Yes, right. Contrary to what Bernie Sanders says, this is not about your damn emails. This is about damn national security. I remember when the Dick Cheney office was accused falsely of outing a covert CIA operative. What did critics say? People could die. Sources, methods, practices could be exposed. What do you think this is? And the next shoe to drop, Sean, will be finding out how many people were compromised, how many people were probably killed because somebody was able wow. to get this information right. and use it to hurt right. Americans and allies. In the short That's time the we step. have, impact of the election. I think it's going to have an impact on the election. Uh, I, I think sooner or later, to. people will recognize it's not an email scandal. It is a national security scandal. It's also a pay to play. They enrich the right. hell out of themselves. Sheriff. Voters right. are going to know going into Tuesday now that they can't put the country through a four years of this or two years of this uh, with this uncertainty there. I think that uh, with, with Donald Trump surging, not just because of this, but you add this on top of it, I think it bodes well for Donald All right. Trump. Good All to right. see you in New York. Good to see you, Larry. Feel better. Hey, welcome back to Hannity. Time for our question of the day. Well, how are you feeling now about Tuesday's election? And do you think Hillary Clinton 
can survive legally without going to jail. Go to Facebook.com slash Sean Hannity. At Sean Hannity on Twitter, let us know what you think. That's all the time we have left. Thanks for being with us. We will see you back here. Another important news night tomorrow night. Five days to go.